Good morning and a warm welcome to your show, Sunny Mornings in San Diego. I'm your host, Melissa, and it's Tuesday, March 12th. Coming up on today's show, we'll get into the surf report and the weather outlook. Then we'll jump into some local news and a few interesting happenings in business, tech, and science. But first, you'll be interested to know, 31 years ago, today, in 1993, Janet Reno became the first female U.S. Attorney General serving under President Bill Clinton. A graduate of Cornell University and Harvard Law School, she was known for her integrity and dedication to justice. During her tenure, Reno launched innovative programs aimed at rehabilitating nonviolent drug offenders and advocated for the rights of criminal defendants. So now you know. And now you know what time it is. It's time for the STRF report. A passing low pressure trough on Tuesday will introduce variable wind, causing uneven conditions in the morning, improving briefly, then deteriorating again in the afternoon due to moderate west wind. Looking ahead to midweek, a mix of northwest swells is anticipated enhancing surf conditions with waist to shoulder high waves at favored spots. Offshore wind and a touch of Southern Hemisphere swell will contribute to cleaner and more enjoyable surf by Wednesday into Thursday. Tuesday at Tourmaline and South San Diego, it's looking clean in the morning at three to four feet with some rough conditions rolling in after 11. Best time to ride is at 8 a.m with a two-foot incoming mid-tide, when the west-northwest swell is 2.7 feet at 15 seconds, and the southeast wind is four mile per hour. The first high tide Tuesday will be five feet around 11.30 a.m., with a zero-foot low tide at 5.15. The nearshore buoy at Scripps in La Jolla reads 62 degrees for the water temperature. Checking out the weather in the San Diego area. This morning, it's cloudy and 56 degrees with little wind. The sunset will take place at 6.55, and it will rise again tomorrow at 7. It looks like we're in for some clouds and patchy drizzle before 11 this morning, then gradually becoming mostly sunny, with a high near 63, and wind of 5 to 10 mile per hour. Tonight, more patchy drizzle after 11 p.m. and mostly cloudy with a low around 54. Looking ahead in the weather, Wednesday begins with morning drizzle, then sunny and high of 66 degrees. Nights through Friday drop to the low 50s with sunny days and highs near 68. Bonjour, food enthusiasts. This podcast is brought to you by Versailles Cafe and Pastries in Encinitas. Nestled on El Camino Real South, just north of Encinitas Boulevard, this cafe is a haven for culinary delights. Indulge in their amazing Eggs Benedict or their gluten-free crepes. You can grab a panini for lunch or just breeze on through to get your morning coffee. They are open every day from eight to five. So stop on by and don't forget to tell them. Sunny morning send you. In local news, the Mariposa Trail Bridge landslide in San Clemente on January 24th halted passenger rail service between San Diego and Orange County. Now, Amtrak Pacific Surfliner has resumed limited service through the area. Construction is ongoing for a barrier wall at the landslide site to prevent future disruptions. The current train schedule includes two morning and two evening trains with a midday pause for construction. The freight trains, which we all love, have also restarted late night service through the affected area. Metrolink service remains suspended due to construction constraints, impacting daily commuters. The Orange County Transit Authority is proposing a $200 million solution for long-term stability and to mitigate future landslides and coastal erosion. Full passenger rail service is expected to resume in early April, enhancing connectivity between San Diego and Orange County.
Now on to sports. It's been busy in the NFL. Kirk Cousins has signed a four-year contract with the Atlanta Falcons, valued at $180 million, marking the end of his tenure with the Minnesota Vikings. This move follows a series of significant roster adjustments by the Vikings, including releasing key players and trading Zadarius Smith. Cousins' future was uncertain, with the Vikings not extending his contract beyond 2023, allowing for a possible quarterback change. <laughs> Despite a challenging season start and a severe Achilles injury ending his season, Cousins remained focused on his career and not solely on financial gains. Cousins' arrival in Atlanta is seen as a significant boost potentially enhancing the Falcons' offense and playoff prospects in a weak NSC South. His experience and consistent performance with the Vikings, where he achieved over 4,000 yards, passing in four seasons, add to the Falcons' optimism for the 2024 season. Not a lot of sports happening in Southern California last night. But we did have the Los Angeles Kings skating at home against the New York Islanders. The Kings won in regulation, three to nothing. And in Padre news, Hugh Darvish expressed his excitement and honor at being named the Padres opening day starter for the third time in his four years with the team. This year's opener is particularly special to him as it takes place in Seoul, South Korea, a first visit for Darvish. Facing the Dodgers, who have strengthened their roster, adds to the anticipation for Darvish. Joe Musgrove is set to pitch the second game in Korea, with the Padres also facing new Dodgers starters Tyler Glasnow and Yoshinobu Yamamoto. Manager Mike Schilt praised both Darvish and Musgrove, highlighting their importance and readiness for the season. Despite a slower spring start, Musgrove supports Darvish getting the opener and may start the Padres home opener. Darvish, with the most starts and innings for the Padres since 2021, looks forward to a new season after a challenging year. The series in Seoul will be historic, with the attendance of Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida and the MLB debut of Yoshinobu Yamamoto. In top news, honey, maple syrup, and agave, touted as healthier sugar alternatives, are essentially liquid forms of sugar. Wesley McCorder highlights they possess more calories than granulated sugar, urging moderation akin to all added sugars. While honey and maple syrup offer some nutrients, their health benefits are marginal unless consumed in large amounts. The real benefit of these sweeteners lies in their unique flavors, which can enhance recipes and possibly reduce the amount needed. Agave has a low glycemic index, but its high fructose content could pose liver health risks if overconsumed. In business news, Ether, the cryptocurrency behind Ethereum, has been experiencing a significant rally standing out even in the shadow of Bitcoin's recent surge to record highs. Launched in 2015, Ethereum has risen to become the second largest digital currency by market value, now exceeding $460 billion. Its rise has been buoyed by the U.S. approval of a Bitcoin ETFs, attracting new investments into cryptocurrencies, including Ether. Ether's year-to-date increase of almost 72% surpasses Bitcoin's 61%, driven by anticipation of a potential U.S. Ethereum ETFs. The SEC is expected to decide on the ETFs application soon, with experts predicting a positive impact on Ethereum's market position. Ethereum is also poised for a major upgrade called Denkun, enhancing its technology and potentially expanding its application ecosystem. With a broader range of use cases than Bitcoin, Ethereum supports developments like NFTs and a vibrant smart contract ecosystem. Transitioning to a less energy intensive proof of stake model has bolstered Ethereum, 
Attracting interest through staking rewards for holders. Maybe tomorrow, we'll do a little side note on what proof of stake is. In crypto movement, Bitcoin is still headed to the moon and now over $72,000. Ethereum is over $4,000. And Solana is $150. Moving on to a more local vibe. In our community spotlight on health and wellness, we are working with a national Pilates studio to bring you some free classes, so listen up. Check out Club Pilates with several locations in the San Diego area. Pilates presents a comprehensive wellness approach, cultivating strength, reducing tension, and elevating mental well-being. Scientific research affirms its benefits. So now you can check out Club Pilates for a free class with locations in Encinitas, Solana Beach, Oceanside, La Jolla, and more. Just be sure to tell them Sunny Morning sent you by. And now back to the show. Let's talk tech. Entrepreneurs are creating solutions to combat loneliness, recognized as an epidemic by U.S. Surgeon General Vivek Murthy. In Brooklyn, Radha Agrawal led a discussion among strangers about their experiences with loneliness, incorporating meditation and active listening to foster connection. Loneliness, exacerbated by the pandemic and the rise of digital technology, has been linked to various health issues, prompting a call for innovative interventions. The Belong Center, a nonprofit aimed at building community and combating loneliness, is expanding across the U.S. with plans for more cities and diverse initiatives. The center offers circles where participants engage in group activities to foster deeper connections with a suggested donation for attendance. Other startups, backed by significant investment, are also tackling loneliness through technology and wellness centers, offering new ways to connect and build relationships. The Belong Center's growth reflects a broader movement to address loneliness, with support from celebrities and business leaders recognizing its impact on public health and society. And in entertainment news, the super popular Netflix crime drama, The Gentleman, blends the elegance of the British aristocracy with the grit of a cannabis empire. At its heart is Eddie, portrayed by Theo James, who inherits more than just a title, but a criminal legacy intertwined with Susie Glass, played by Kaya Scodelario. Their uneasy alliance forms the crux of the narrative, offering a mix of tension and teamwork as they navigate their newly shared empire. Creator Guy Ritchie hints at abundant potential for further exploration, fueled by a plethora of characters and plots swirling in his creative mind. While the series, a spin-off from Ritchie's film, concludes its current journey, the door remains ajar for a second season, promising more adventures with Eddie and Susie's complex dynamic at the forefront. Well, alrighty folks, it's time for the quote of the day. And today, our quote comes from the author C.S. Lewis. He said, You are never too old to set another goal or to dream a new dream. Cheers, my good friends. Have a great day. And that's a wrap for this morning. Remember to stay tuned tomorrow for more news and updates. Have an amazing day, my good friends.